Hello everybody and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. This episode, we are going to be constructing a giant space station as recommended by some person on my Skype named Simon. I'm really sorry that I don't have any YouTube info about you, but that is all you suggested to me because on my Skype, I posted a message saying, what would you like to see me build a Kerbal Space Program? And there was a whole ton of suggestions. Some included going to different planets, some included like blowing up the planet. And then there was this one where they recommended I just build a big space station. So I was thinking, you know, why not just build a space station? I don't have too much time right now because I'm uh, getting ready to actually leave to go on vacation in a few hours. So I just uh, put some, f uh, not didn't put some footage together. I built some uh, rockets quickly and I sent them up into Kerbin's uh, sphere of influence. And I, I guess I just built a space station. I didn't get too far on it considering that I don't have... Uh, that much time on me, but I promise that I will get back to it. And since I'm in this predicament where I can't finish it all at one time, I can suggest to you guys to submit your ships to my email address. Uh, if you build a, some sort of addition to the space station, I mean, you can obviously see how it's set up here. You could build something that would uh, fit in one of the docking ports, and you can email that to me at dodgethemall at uh, dta-mc.com. It'll be in the description. You can send your craft files to there. Uh, hopefully my inbox won't fill up uh, to be completely full because there is a, a storage limit on that. Um, don't want to discuss that, though, so none of you uh, try to, I don't know, spam me out or something. <laughs> so yeah, here we are uh, with the uh, core of the spacecraft. As you saw, I had built a new design using the uh, large fuel tank, and then I used two of the smaller uh, liquid fuel boosters as booster rockets, which worked uh, quite well. I do have a problem, though, if you turn on your side and you release the boosters, that the main engine will uh, often explode, and if you try to put sepatrons on the boosters to push it away, they will often just blow up the tank in themselves. Uh, this uh, rocket right here will be a better example of that. It is quite beautiful, I, I must say, and it doesn't look like it could actually fly, like when I was building it in the VAB, I was like, well, I've underestimated the power of these uh, of these new NASA rockets before, so I think I'm just going to trust them. And so it's a, basically a 5 engine, and there we go, see, it, it decoupled, and then it fell into the craft, so it, but, wow, I am trying to talk so fast, I'm actually confusing myself. But, since the, uh, the payload I was trying to bring up was such a small object, that uh, I could just uh, that I could, uh, blah, 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 blah. I could withstand having that area of the ship explode, and I could use the upper stage to fully boost me into an orbit and dock me. I actually had to, uh, to waste a little bit of fuel as well. Uh, I guess I just, uh, was a really good, uh, did a really good job at designing that. Okay, so we are, yep, uh, circular, circularizing, circularize, circularizing, circulate, circular... Circularizing? Cir How do you pronounce that? Circularizing. Yeah, I was circularizing my orbit, and I was just getting into a, uh, a close intersect. You don't have to be perfect when you're intersecting with something to go for docking, because you can always, uh, you just want to be close to it, so then you can cancel out your velocity, and then reapproach it, uh, and that uh, generally does well if you have enough fuel. If you don't have enough fuel, you probably want to time it out so you get a little bit closer, but I knew that I had like a whole ton of fuel, and right here, I have no idea what I'm doing, but uh, I I kind of messed up, and I had to cut the footage and then come back to the game. Yeah, right there, because if I press F4, which is what I, the hotkey I have bound to start the recordings, it will also turn off where the other objects are in, in the game, which is uh, kind of frustrating. So I had to quickly change over my, my fraps to record on the F5 button, and so I could actually see where I was going. And then I realized that, oh, I wasn't doing this right. And then I start doing it right. And I you just keep canceling out your velocity. And then fire, or fire, um, fire is not the right term. And then boost towards, I like that word boost. You boost towards the object you're trying to dock with. You just keep doing that over and over again. And you should get very close to it. Uh, I had tons of fuel. I just don't know what I did so well with this. But uh, generally in Kerbal Space Program, it's quite hard to do stuff. Now, actually, I was going to record something else in place of this. I was going to record a mission to Elu. Excuse me. But uh, last night, uh, my brother basically walked in and got me distracted, and I ended up uh, crashing the planet on J or not the crashing the planet, crashing the spacecraft on Jewel. But I mean, that was interesting. I'd never been to Jewel before, um, and it had enough fuel. I had plenty of fuel to get to Jewel. I just didn't exactly. Uh, align it correctly, and we went, I was trying to make an arrow breaking maneuver, and that didn't end well, and I just kind of, um, got sucked into Jewel, uh, 
its atmosphere is basically like a very thick soup or maybe like jello moving through it's uh very strange i should show it to you sometime uh when i get back from vacation uh which yeah leads me to another point i will be gone on vacation for the next few days sorry about that um but not in my control it's gonna be hopefully a fun time it's just supposed to kind of rain uh every time i've been camping this summer it's just rained repeatedly no idea why i guess that's um just what happens so here we are coming in for the docking uh, everything is looking okay, all up until about this point where I realize, yeah, we're not going to make it, we're going to hit the side. And so I just kind of bounce off, and then I just try to reorient myself so I can get back into the spacecraft. No doubt that Bill Kerman is just freaking out right now, because, I don't know, I don't know if he can trust me, I don't even know if I can trust myself to dock this. It's been so long since I've docked something in this game. It's okay, Bill, you got, you got this, man, all you gotta do is you just gotta gently glide the spacecraft towards the massive dark object yeah i probably should have done this docking in the daytime but uh time constraints i guess also that and i i was just kind of unlucky there is quite an rcs system on this thing although when i attempted to use it i had no idea how it worked so i ended up just docking with an engine uh i the key bindings for um RCS is just so utterly confusing to me. I can never figure out what button I am supposed to press to go any direction, so I end up just using the main rocket to do it. I guess this would be very hard to do if I was using a very large um, spacecraft, but since I'm just a, a small little solar energy unit like I am, uh, I can just use the engine and everything should be fine. So I just got to get everything aligned, um, and then I just kind of boost right towards the, uh, the Clampatron, having a little bit of issues actually uh, selecting it. Uh, I don't know why. Kerbal Space Program is a bit weird with its targeting system. But yeah, I just go there, and I, I just try to get, you know, my, uh, what do you call it? My prograde, yeah, the prograde, towards the docking node. And uh, I think that works out well for me in the end. Uh, as I said, I do want to add more units onto this, but I couldn't do it in this video. So if you want to send other things for me to dock on, there's a whole ton of different things, like maybe a refueling station, or just put docking ports on whatever you're uh, going to build just so I can actually keep adding onto the station since there's only three more docking nodes available. Uh, don't be afraid to just send that to me. I like to make this thing massive. Uh, this is just the start, and I could get rid of this unit and add a, a new unit, or I could move it around, I guess. I could really do whatever with it, uh, but, you know, I just I just go by what I could build at the time, and I just wanted to see how the engines would perform. So, uh, yeah, I think that this went a little bit uh, too well, if you ask me. Uh, I didn't expect either of these things to actually get into orbit, but they ended up getting into orbit, so uh, I guess I'm really lucky. Either that or I'm just really good at Kerbal Space Program. I've been playing it for a long time. I bought it what, two years ago. Almost two years ago. It'll be two years in December, but it, a little bit after Christmas. First thing I bought on my old laptop. Man, that thing is ancient now. And, uh, yeah, so you know what that music means. Uh, Jeb and Bill Kerman are going to keep hanging out right in their spacecraft, and I think that they will have a good time doing that. Uh, my name is Stardust0123. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, you know, you know my outro. I will see you guys... Next time! Darn it, I timed that wrong.